All right, well, hello, hey, uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Welcome to another uh, spring spring semester. It's uh, uh, 2016. Uh, uh, wow, uh, uh, who, 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 who would have thought? It just seemed like uh, it just seemed like uh, yesterday that it was uh, that it was New Year's of 20, uh, 2015. All right, well, listen, hey, uh, I'm Professor Cacanedo, and uh, I'm really happy and excited to uh, to be here and uh, introduce uh, all of you to uh, uh, to uh, to the classes. Uh, this video is for for everybody. Uh, this everybody this this semester, or at least the classes that are beginning today on January 25th. Uh, this video goes uh, for those of you who are taking my uh, Grossman classes, whether you're in History 108, uh, 109, or 124, that's uh, those of you in the in both the U.S. sections and the uh, and the California class, and also those of you at uh, Mesa College in the Chicano Studies 141A classes. This is a welcome video in which uh, I just introduce my, myself, tell a little bit about my background, who I am, my interests, uh, likes, uh, dislikes, uh, all all of that, all of that fun stuff. And uh, over the next uh, over the course of the next week and into the next uh, a few weeks, actually, you'll be getting several more videos in which I introduce uh, uh, more detailed information about each of the classes. So for those of you in the Grossman classes, wondering about how some of the things work, especially with the uh, discussion groups for uh, uh, those of you in History 108 and 124. Don't worry, I've got plenty more videos for you to talk about that, so uh, please hold on to, uh, to to your questions until the en end of this uh, this first week, this opening week, and like likewise for those of you in the uh, Likewise, for those of you in the uh, 141A classes, I'll have more information about uh, how your discussion forums work too. So, basically, I'm just introducing myself to uh, to all of you that this this afternoon. Uh, more details will, will be coming up in the next few days in both the video format and, of course, in the announcements in uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, in Blackboard. Uh, I'll be with you per pretty much uh, every day every day this week. Uh, you'll, you can expect the announcements coming early in the morning, so between the 7 and 9 a.m. That's when the announcements will, will begin to. To, will, will, will pop up, and in order to contact me, the best way to reach me, whether you're in the Grossmont or, or Mesa classes, uh, please go ahead and start using messages for professor in, in Blackboard, that's the best way to reach me for the course of the semester, but like I said, more details about each of the respective classes, those will be coming up uh, very, very soon, within the next, uh, within the next few, uh, next a few, few, few days. All right, well, listen, uh, Normally, when I make these videos, I record from the comfort of, of my home office. I'm teaching uh, nine online classes this semester, three each at uh, Grossmont, Mesa, and Southwestern College colleges. Southwestern's classes don't kick in until the next week, so I'll have a separate video for, the, for those people who are in the uh, Southwestern uh, class. Um, uh, but even though I'll, I'll be working from my home office for the majority of the semester, I'll still be making regular appearances uh, during the course of the semester at all three of the campuses. So for those of you who need, if you need to uh, talk to me about any uh, any issue uh, uh, on, on campus, prefer to talk to me on campus, uh, please give me a heads up. Try to give me at least about a week of notice that you want to uh, talk to me. And uh, I'll set up a date in which I'll come down uh, to any of the schools, whether it's uh, uh, Grossmont, uh, Mesa, or Southwestern College. Um, but you notice right here that I'm not recording from uh, from my my home office. I'm actually here in my car, uh, 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 obviously, and I'm recording to you from Temecula. Actually, I live in um, I, I live up here in, in Temecula, actually just north of Temecula, east of Marietta, in a little uh, little patch of Riverside County called uh, French Valley. And right here, I'm actually recording from Thornton Winery, uh, Thornton, one of the most popular wineries here in the Temecula Valley. Uh, I just had to come in and pick up a. Pick up a, a couple, a couple of items, and of course, it's a winery. I don't need to tell you exactly what those items are, but let me just uh, get out of the picture a little bit, and maybe uh, I'll give you a quick look at, at the grounds here of the Thornton Winery. This is probably one of the more popular wineries in the Temecula Valley, but plenty of other great wineries too. Uh, South Coast, uh, Bel, uh, Bel, Belvino, uh, Miramonte, Monte de, de Oro, uh, Le, Leones. Um, uh, Hart, uh, Callaway, the list goes on and on, but Thornton, I think, is one of the most popular here in the Temecula Valley. But let me get out of, the, out of photo a little bit, let you guys get a, a, a little bit of a better look, and then I'll, I'll say a few more things about myself, my interests, my background, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and all kinds of other fun stuff. All right. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, what do you think? Yeah, not, uh, yeah, very, very impressive place. I've been living out here in uh, the Temecula Valley uh, uh, for about three years now. I'm actually a native of uh, National City, uh, born and raised there. And uh, in terms of uh, in terms of elementary school, junior high, and high school, uh, so South Bay through and through. So uh, uh, Kimball Elementary and National City, and then Hilltop Junior and Hilltop High School af after that. And as for higher education. Um, I stayed local too. Uh, my uh, master's, uh, my, my bachelor's, I'm sorry, is in anthropology from UCSD, and then my uh, master's is in Latin American studies from San Diego State. So uh, my San Diego State training will definitely come in handy for the uh, uh, for uh, for those of you in the uh, in the 141A classes. But a lot of the information from that too will fit in perfectly with uh, with those of you in the Grossmont classes. So I would say all in all that my training uh, uh, both at UCSD and the San Diego State uh, fit fit in perfectly. Uh, fit in perfectly to what this class, uh, to what these classes are, are all about. Um, like I said, I've been teaching, uh, uh, I'm doing nine classes this semester, and I've been at all three schools, uh, Grossmont, Southwestern, and Mesa, for, for quite a while now. I've done, um, I've done a lot of the on-campus on classes since the late 90s, but more and more online since about the mid-2000s. since about the mid While I love being on campus, I really enjoy doing the online classes. Of course, the flexibility is great for, uh, uh, for not just those of you, especially those of you who are, maybe who are, who are veterans, Maybe if you're, if you're active duty, uh, those of you who are sing single parents taking care of your, of your little ones, and those of you who are maybe in the uh, uh, nursing department or in the or those of you who are in the uh, who are in the uh, uh, me medical field, that, that is, you definitely have some really uh, uh, wacky hours. So obviously, online works uh, works best for uh, works best for for those of you in the, those uh, professions. Um, but uh, but I've been, like I said, I've been doing online mostly for about the past the ten years. And uh, and I, I really enjoy it qu uh, quite a bit. And every semester, I try to add new, new things in terms of what uh, in terms of what goes on in each uh, in each particular uh, class. Um, in terms of teaching interests, they're all over the map. I love covering uh, everything from the uh, from early Mesoamerica, so the Aztecs, the Maya, the Toltecs, the Olmecs. Of course, we'll see that quite a bit in the. Uh, I see quite a bit in the uh, 141A classes. I love covering uh, things such as uh, uh, U.S. Latin America relations, which we'll get into quite a bit in the, uh, uh, which we'll get into a little bit in the 109 class, and also things such as the U.S. Mexico War, which we'll get into not just in the 141A classes, but for those of you in History 108 and 124, we'll get into those topics uh, as as well. I get into a lot of bit of a popular culture too, lit lit literature, uh, so uh, we'll be seeing a lot of those elements a a a as well. Yeah, in terms of uh, my 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 or uh, interests or things that I'd like to do when I'm not uh, el profesor, uh, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> I'm a big, I'm a big, big fan of 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 of, of sports, so things like uh, like baseball and of course hockey too. You notice my San Diego goals uh, had. Uh, I, I only had a chance. Me and my girlfriend, uh, we just had it. Only had a chance to see one game at the uh, beginning of the uh, season, but we'll try to check out uh, some more games as we get into the uh, uh, tail end of the uh, tail end of the, of the season. But I love the pro teams. The uh, uh, the uh, the big teams too, like the uh, Ducks and, and and the Red Wings. Um, I've seen a few games in Detroit in the past few years. I haven't been to a game in Anaheim in quite a while, but uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to get to a game before the season runs out. And in terms of uh, baseball too, uh, because I'm up here in the area in which the uh, Dodgers have uh, uh, have more of the uh, have more of the uh, TV uh, uh, TV exposure. Um, I'm definitely I'm a Dodgers I'm a Dodgers fan. I, I've liked the Dodgers since I was a little guy. Uh, I used to like the Padres quite a bit. Um, you know, in the grammar school and uh, uh, more so in junior high and high school uh, but um, but I'm but I like the Dodgers now some of my high school friends aren't too happy about that um, but uh, but uh, but but at least they don't get mad at me because uh, I'm not a Raiders fan. So if I've been a Raiders fan, then my high school friends would probably disown me and wouldn't and wouldn't wouldn't want to want to talk to me. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't want to talk talk to me. Uh, football, you know, I watch football from time to time. Uh, I'm not really a big uh, big fan, fan into it. Of course, a lot of crazy politics going on right now with respect to the Chargers. So uh, we'll see what happens uh, with, with with that with that cr crazy story. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, music, I'm a big fan of uh, the uh, the rock and roll from the 1970s. And 1980s, so of course, whether it's the uh, heavy metal like uh, Motley Crue, uh, Rat, uh, Judas Priest, or the older bands like uh, like ZZ Top, uh, Rush, uh, Aerosmith, and uh, and and of course the Eagles. Sadly, of course, uh, one of the main guys from the Eagles, Glenn Frey, passed away about a week ago, but. Uh, 
I don't think I guess that's going to be the end of the Eagles in terms of touring, but they left a great body of work and you know their their music uh, like with uh, uh, other artists who've passed away recently like uh, David Bowie, uh, Nat Natalie Cole, you know, uh, their their music will definitely be timeless and live on for forever. Uh, anything else I should mention too in terms of outset interest? Oh, uh, I have uh, uh, I have a few uh, furry friends at at uh, at home. I've got the three cats and a, and a cocker spaniel. And in some of the videos that I record from from my house, don't be surprised if some of my feline friends decide to come in and uh, come in and, and and make a visit. And as for anything else I need to mention about myself right now, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, a lot of the other videos that you'll be getting for the next uh, for the next week and for the rest of the semester will be quite quite lengthy. They'll they'll get into the range of about 20 minutes and e and even more. Um, so even though the videos might be a little bit too lengthy or uh, they might get uh, boring uh, a after a while, you know, please watch my videos, everybody, because I explain everything and everything in terms of what it is you have to do. So I try to be as detailed and thorough as possible to make sure. There's no confusion about anything what, what whatsoever. So uh, this video I have right now will be one of the shorter ones in the semester, but everything else will be much longer, but that's because I don't want to leave anything to chance, and I want to try to cover everything as uh, thoroughly as possible about all the assignments, uh, the journals, the discussions, the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, the, uh, no, uh, the 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 readings, all, all all of that fun stuff. I want to be as detailed as and as possible, and tell you exactly what you need to know for the course of the semester. So, for the next few days, I'll be releasing videos in which I uh, uh, which will be uh, in which I describe everything about each successive class. So, give me a few days to work on that. And for those of you in the uh, history one hundred nine classes, I have to give you videos about how to complete the uh, podcast assignment. So, those videos will be coming up very very soon. So, by Wednesday, those those videos will be ready for you to, 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 to examine. And of course, any questions about that, you know, just to let me know, contact me in Messages for Professor. And like I said, Messages for Professor, that's the best way to reach me all semester long. So please start getting into the habit of using that instead of my email uh, this week for the rest of the semester. So whether it's the 16-week semester for those of you in Grossmont or the eight-week session for those of you at Mesa, uh, you know, I'll be with you uh, uh, every step of the way. A regular announcements on a, a fairly regular basis, almost a, a daily or at least three times a week basis. I'm looking forward to uh, being with all of you this this semester. I hope you guys like uh, the classes that uh, whichever class that you're taking, taking, and uh, and it's going to be I think it's going to be a really uh, a fun and rewarding semester. I'm looking forward to being with you for these next uh, 16 weeks if you're at Grossmont or eight weeks if you're uh, if you're with at uh, at Mesa. All right, everyone. So that's it for me. That's it from Professor Cañedo. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and get and uh, get back on on the road now. Get back to my house, and uh, I'll see you guys very soon with uh, with new videos, and I'll talk to all of you individually when I start reading your introduction. So whichever class you're in, please introduce yourself in the discussion board. By the end of the week, uh, by the weekend, I'll start reading all your introductions and uh, um, and uh, re read your introductions and reply to each and every one of you. Okay, everyone, so that's it. Have a great uh, spring semester, and I'll talk to you guys again very, very soon.